They didn't even like put this in a box. Amazon just sent me a milk frother with a packing label on the back side of it. So, I mean, that will reduce waste. Like, what if all sh companies sending products to Amazon had to put them in, like, that's just, they, they how do you ship it just like that? There's not even any packing material. It would save waste, but you're probably gonna break a lot of products. But then, and then if you order multiple items, you could use thinner packaging for the multiple items and then a big box holding it all with paper and that's all recyclable. I don't know, there's better ways to do it. I know there's better ways to do it. Anyway, this is my milk frother. Electric milk frother, you bastards. Um, let's see, that falls off. So just like my electric kettles over there, my things. This is specifically designed, do not put milk frother in dishwasher. Okay, okay, I, I get it. This is for idiots who aren't smirt. So let's take that off and make sure it's, it's a nice adhesive. Put that in there. Oh, we got a little milk frother fucking brush. A froth brush. So there's your base. And I bought this specific milk frother. And you're like, Zios, why do you need to froth with milk? Well, do you remember when I opened up that kilogram tea a couple months back? On Well, judging by today's date, when that video did come out, a couple months back, I opened up uh, kilogram tea and I had that chai tea latte. But the hardest part about making that was I had to like microwave milk and that is fucking, that is a not a good feeling. You either have to put it on the stove top over flame and like constantly stir it or you need to microwave it. So this um, milk frother slash steamer should do a perfect job of making the milk go without that. What does this do? Maybe I should, do I have to read? This holds this. That's weird. Okay, so there is a max for heating, max for frothing. Oh, it's got a stirry stir. Max min. Okay, max for heating. I can get up to here, this line. It's still not a lot of milk. But max for frothing is way down because you hit the froth button. Um... We've got an extra, what is this for? Oh, it's to hold one of these? It's an extra holder. I guess if you're, if you're, I gotta read instructions. I think what I'm probably getting at here is there's two stirry bits. So this must pull out. Okay, that just pulls off. This will probably froth, spin real fast and froth up your milk. And then the other one is just for heating the milk and agitating it. And then give you a holder for the top. So you pull it out, put this down instead of that. So you can take this one out and attach it to the lid. That is fucking genius. Nice silicone seal. So I put this one down. And that'll just stir the milk while it's being heated. Because that's what you got to do. You got to keep the fucking thing moving. Oh, that's... Oh, you have to actually line it up. There's an actual point here. So you can't just put this down in any direction. You have to put it down exactly like that. Um, let's plug it in. Because I want to know what the buttons do. Because there's a heat, cold power. Zeus, why don't you read something stupid? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're not my mom, mom. Uh, it's very well built. This one got really high reviews. It's beautifully made it's not that expensive either so let's put this down and let's hit power we're whirring let's hold it hold it oh so if you hold it instead of just pressing on it'll turn on just the frothing motor but if you press it once it turns on the heater and the frothing motor based on the red and blue which is my favorite colors and then you turn it off. That's awesome. Okay, I've already figured it out. Don't no need to read the book. The problem is going to be, I guess this is a little brush for brushing the thing. The problem is gonna be where do I keep these things where I, in this fucking giant fuck off kitchen, know where it is. I hate this cabinet. This is the electronics one. So I may be in there. Good luck. Oh God, is this all English? Please be another language, thank God. How to use frothing, so the frothing whisk, okay, I was correct. 
Add milk no higher than the max frothing line. Does it say anything about 1% milk being water? Skim is not milk. 1% is barely fucking milk. 2% I grew up on, but once you're an adult, just fucking buy whole. Just buy whole milk. Yes, it's 3.8% milk fat. Fuck you. Drink milk to drink milk. Don't drink milk to drink white water. Jesus. God, I hate. Especially 1%. 1% is just like, don't bother. You don't like milk. That's it for this unboxing. Throw this away. Throw this away. This whole box in here. This one says, thank you. Thank you for choosing MicroCoco. Register my product to activate the service. Cool. Oh God. That's why I put a Variac in that motherfucker, which is not up here right now. But I, I wasn't up here and it was in the basement. So that was just blowing outside. I love when things are blowing. Blowing is my favorite. Where the fuck is my knife? There it is. Unless I could just rip this by hand. Look at that, I'm like a Superman. Chewbacca, did you see that? She's, she's in awe of my man strength. Um, Okay, someone sent me fake tongues, so that's a thing. At least it's from Amazon. Why? Why do I have fake tongues? Chewbacca, you want a fake tongue? She said no. <sighs> Why do people send me shit? It's a really realistic fake tongue. Pasta. Pasta is licking your, your, your hoo hoo dilly. That is a really realistic fake tongue. Like, I hate it. I hate every second of this. I need actual things to be delivered. Things that I ordered. <sighs> this is pasta giving out my address to people. I mean, the unboxing channel would probably get more viewers if I got sent random shit. Right, Chewbacca? Like anthrax. Please don't send me anthrax. So is this... Spray glue? I'll take spray glue. Cause I gotta do that thing where I spray paint, I spray my um, yes. So now I could spray glue tongues to the front of my car. Um, I brought Krylon spray adhesive instead of 3M Super 77 or the craft stuff. Cause I like Krylon uh, paint. And strong permanent bond, extended open tra tack time, smooth non-wrinkling adhesion. Adhesion. Ideal for bonding lightweight materials and acid free. So basically it's just spray glue. And I bought the spray glue. You know why I bought the spray glue? Do you know why I bought the spray glue? Come with me and you'll see. It's a world of pure imagination and we'll dance in the graves of our dead foes. That's how that goes. So here's my Costco printed cardboard, like, like poster board heavy board calendar which is running out and so costco closed their photo centers at the store and they got rid of this material so i had to buy this year's calendar this is 2021 to 2022 on just like uh it's a this is basically a print paper in fact i finally have all the different sizes of holo the, the wise wolf I, um uh, all the way up to this. There's another size bigger than this in the basement and the biggest one is here, 20 by 30. So this is just a 20 by 30 photo print, 10 bucks. So this is just a 20 by 30 photo print, it's 10 bucks. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I shared the actual calendar on Imgur. So Pasta, if you wanna message me at whatever time you're watching this, I have 2021, 2022's calendar, which by the way, starts in May and ends in April because when I decided to make this calendar, it was like April of 2017 or something. I have the other two years down the basement. This is the third year I've been doing this. This will be the fourth year, but I don't wanna do it on this. Like how am I supposed to like move it around? Like if I had a, a spot. So I actually bought three of these 2020 and 2021 calendars on the heavy duty board. So I'm gonna go get the blank ones in the basement, flip them over, spray glue, and just glue the fucking next year. To, I mean, I guess I could do it like literally to this one. If I felt like I could just glue it, I could just glue it to this year. 
Boom, because I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. Actually, there's pieces of my wall. Don't tell pasta, she'll be real sad. There's pieces of the apartment that I was I used to rent stuck to the back of this because I, I, I used 3M adhesive, it was real good. Um, 3M like clear double stick tape. So this is like forever. So yeah, once this is done, the end of April, I need to start using this one, but I don't want to use it on the little thin paper. Oh, and I bought, I bought two years worth. So if you want to know what 2022 and 2023 look like, here you go. So apparently September 11th, 2023 happens on a Sunday. In case, in case that was a thing you needed to know. So yeah, that's why I bought spray adhesive because I need to spray glue this down. I had spray adhesive because I spray glued the fucking map that we threw darts at to the back of the boards. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. So I got a bag of fake tongues and some actually useless, useful stuff. And as, of course, as always, anime waifus and noisy fans, I gotta go find the fucking Variac. It's gotta be in the basement. It's gotta be in the basement. Anyway, that's all. Pasta, I guess you have to link to uh, you plama, you plama seven pack hollow uh, realistic fake tongue. Because I mean, that's I, exactly seven. Why seven? Am I gonna, is Pasta telling me to build her some sort of weird sex wheel that I like I could crank and it's got seven tongues I could slap? That's all I could think of doing.